here from Ann Makes. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome into the studio. Today, surprise, surprise, I have a Dollarama haul to share with you. A long-awaited, I'm sure, uh, haul video. This one's a little different. I specifically went to Dollarama. I also went to Dollar Tree afterwards, which will be in another video. I went to Dollarama looking to buy myself a uh, some tools and supplies to create a couch kit so I could work in my art journal while I watch television in the evenings. Uh, we've been watching a lot of movies uh, since the pandemic started. It's what we do at the end of the day and it's just a nice way to unwind and I really don't like to sit on the couch and not have anything to do and I tend to say in the afternoon I'll think in advance of what I would like to work on on the couch in the evening and I pull my stuff from here and there and put it together and bring it to the couch and, and then I have a pile of stuff and it just it just dawned on me that I need a better system so I thought I would get myself a a tote a box a basket or something and I would keep a specific items in this basket I got a basket finally of uh, the thing tools and supplies that I would use regularly for uh, making art in uh, my art journal so I went to Dollarama to get stuff and a lot of this stuff I, I have all of this stuff probably already uh, most of this I probably have already. There are some exceptions. So I, I have doubles now of things, but I wanted doubles for the simple reason that I just want this box dedicated for crafting on the couch or crafting on the go. If I go anywhere, not that I'm going anywhere right now, but God forbid I would have to go to the hospital. Uh, I would probably, I would love to have this with me. <laughs> so I can like not lose my sanity so okay so I want to show you my beautiful pink basket they had some new baskets at Dollarama I think they're really pretty it's plastic this one's really full okay so this the, the basket focus on the basket this is the pretty pink basket it's really heavy it this one is four dollars this is the bigger size uh, my store had these pretty baskets large it is how much stuff there is it's very heavy they had uh, different pretty pastel colors at my store I believe there was like a mint green and a light blue also I think there was white and I saw different sizes uh, I saw smaller size medium medium well smaller than this one this was the largest one I took the largest one so the largest one is four dollars so uh, and it's really like sturdy. It's not flimsy at all. So I just thought this would be a great basket. I like that it's very straight um, to hold lots of tools and supplies for uh, journaling, crafting, making stuff on the couch. Now, another new item I picked up at Dollarama is this t-shirt. I had to get it. I just thought it was really appropriate. Uh, I definitely don't have something like this in, in my wardrobe already and I don't think I will ever have a chance to find something like this ever again and I just think it's really timely. So the, if you can see this, this is a t-shirt I found. <laughs> now I took a really big, the biggest size they had because I thought uh, we might have fun having um, posing in this t-shirt uh, but it, it's written in French it didn't have any in English but see it's about socially distancing so it basically it translates into attention social distancing in progress so <laughs> type, yeah and, the, and that's exactly what we need to do right now it's exactly what I'm practicing and but I just thought it was quite fun to see that someone had made a t-shirt like that and it's four dollars I saw it I only saw it in purple and there was white but the white was only small sizes 
that's what my store had. All right, so I've been working in uh, an art journal of mine. I have several art journals. I showed you that in videos before. But uh, I just thought I'm going to show my viewers that you can get just about everything you need to get your own art journaling going or other crafts going just by visiting the dollar store. And since you might be at the dollar store because dollar stores have been open since the beginning of the lockdown, they continue to be open and they will remain open for the foreseeable future as long as no one gets sick and they don't have to shut down the store and disinfect it and all that. So if you go in there because you need to buy food, you need to buy uh, pet supplies, you need to buy health and beauty needs, you need masks, hand sanitizers, disinfectants, uh, and you have a moment to peek down the craft aisle or the office supply aisle, you could pick yourself up a couple items to get your art journaling going. And you don't need a lot. So one of the things I wanted to show you is a journal possibility. Dollarama is great for selling different kinds of stationery. They have these pads. This is like a spiral notebook. It's a kid, call it a kid's sketchbook. Uh, they have adult ones. They have black ones. They, they have many different kinds. And of course, it will depend on the Dollarama that you are in. But they do have a variety of these sketchbooks and some of them have thicker paper than others some of them have really thick covers and that's why i picked this one i picked this one not so much because of the design although it is quite cute uh, but because i really love a hard cover i like the spiral too and this one has 100 gsm per page there's 72 pages so you know it's it's not a bad paper it will warp a lot if you use a lot of water with you know a lot of liquids on it but uh, I still think this would make a great art journal sketch pad etc so this is 350 currently at Dollarama so I got that as a basis but like I said there's different things you don't need to specifically buy an art journal to art journal you can get a notebook you can get a pad of paper you can get cardboard you can recycle cardboard boxes to do uh you know art you don't need to have anything fancy and if this is out of your budget and all you can afford is printer paper or uh scrap paper that's fine too. I'm not saying that you have to have this, but this is an example of what you can do. Now, uh, as an avid crafter, art journaler, I love every kind of supply and I will want to put paper on my pages. I will want to put paints and inks and stencil and stuff. So uh, being a Dollarama, I thought, well, let's see what they have. Now, my Dollarama did not have any pads of scrapbooking paper uh, currently. They often do, though, uh, or some pretty, you know, crafting paper pads or anything like that or kits. They didn't have any. So, but that's okay. They have a whole bunch of other stuff. I went down the aisle, the party aisle, the party supply aisle, and they had lots of pretty napkins there. And I saw all these napkins with flowers. So I got pretty napkins. These are, there's 18 in here. They're $1.25 for these. So I got these pretty napkins. I chose uh, four different kinds that are all flowery. Um, even this one so they're just really pretty these are great to use as a background paper they're great for decoupage or great for collage of course you take the layers apart and you can use something like a sealer a glue a watered down glue 
uh, which is one thing you can use to seal it to your paper. And the other thing, you, if you your Dollarama sells Mod Podge, uh, you can use Mod Podge. Here's, I bought a bottle of matte. I have a ton of Mod Podge, so I just bought one bottle, but it does come in gloss. Uh, I prefer to use gel medium when I'm working in my art journal. And, uh, but right now, I've never seen, first of all, I've never seen gel medium being sold at dollar stores. I've never seen it. But Mod Podge is pretty close to it. The only difference with the Mod Podge I find, you may, depending on the humidity level of where you live, that if you coat your papers on your page with Mod Podge, that your pages will kind of want to stick together. Uh, it, that, it, it happens to me sometimes and other times it doesn't. I find if I kind of rough it down a bit or just sprinkle a little bit of baby powder or cornstarch or something like that over the page, just a tiny, tiny bit, it does reduce the stickiness. But uh, as an alternative to matte gel uh, medium, this is excellent. Again, I also said you could use glue, and that is something I use a lot of in my art journaling, crafting, is glue. And there, there's lots of different types of glues available in the dollar stores. Dollarama has this one, which is um, a clear glue, multi-purpose, non-toxic. And usually this is, you know, this is perfect for paper. This is sticking paper to paper. It's great. Uh, at $1.25, I chose this one because it was pink. So don't have to. There's also tacky glue which uh, is a great glue as well. This one is better for, it's great for paper, don't get me wrong, but if you have something a little thicker, thicker papers maybe, if you have a little bit of felt, I find this one works uh, better sometimes than this one. But uh, hey, if you, this is the only one you can find, get it, it's fine. Um, so yeah, so $1.50 for this bottle of tacky glue and a dollar twenty-five for this bottle of uh, clear glue. So there's different options. Get some adhesive. That's basically my suggestion. Another thing I like to use a lot when I art journal, and especially when I'm sitting on the couch, I don't always want to have goopy glue with me on my couch. So uh, glue sticks. Blue sticks are great. I prefer other brand I prefer name brands of glue sticks but this is all that was available at my store and you know what this will do if I'm really concerned about something really sticking not coming off because I sometimes the dollar store glue um, is not as effective in the long run I use I'll use but I'll use two glues that's what I'll do. If I really want to use the glue stick because it's easier to get it down and I'll add a little bit of the other glue also. So it, you know, if I, if I find that one's not working, I can put the other. So I tend to have more than one glue with me. But like I said, uh, on the couch, I prefer the glue stick. <laughs> Just a preference. Okay. So one thing I noticed at my Dollarama is that a lot of you are going to the dollar store to craft because there were lots of bare spots. Oh my. Well, there was no, I mean, absolutely no bottles of acrylic paint left. And usually my Dollarama has a lot of acrylic craft paint. There was nothing, <laughs> nothing. Nothing left in the bottles, no tubes. All I found at my store, uh, I gotta say no, nothing, nothing. All I found at my store was this set 
of acrylic paints, the Artist Series in the Little Tubes, which is a nice size to have on the couch. Uh, you know, you get a variety of colors. You get 10 colors in here, $2. The other paints I found were the little pearl paints in the little squeeze bottle, the 3D. So this you could, it's great for making dimensional things. But you don't have to use it to be dimensional if you want it flat. Just brush it out. And this is $1.25 for three of them. Um, and I got, I wanted to have different colors. So I got some different packs of that. Now, uh, I wanted to get a watercolor paint. And did I get? No. My Dollarama did not have any paint palettes of watercolor. Uh, you know, either the children's or other. They didn't have anything left. It was all gone. So, uh, but I saw these little pots. So you get 12 little pots of liquid watercolor. And I thought, well, why not? It's just for art journaling. It's just for making backgrounds and putting some color quickly on paper. So hey, why not? So this is also available. So I, I wanted a variety of things. So I got some acrylic paints and I got some watercolors. Now to apply paint, uh, paint brushes are a good idea. And luckily the dollar store, uh, dollar stores often have lots of different types of paint brushes to choose some. Some have more than others, and my Dollarama, although they were sold out of paint, of most paint, they did have a lot of paint brushes left. So, funny. I don't know what people are doing with the paint. <laughs> uh, so I picked up a set of round brushes like this, camel hair. I thought they were pretty in pink. They have a rubber grippy there. And I also picked up this package because I wanted some of the smaller ones in my kit so you got this one for you got eight brushes for three dollars in here and this one is a dollar 25 for five so yes i already have a ton of paint brushes but please uh think i was trying to do this for the sake of this video and because i wanted to have a kit dedicated for my couch I picked up these brushes. I love using these brushes. I got this pack and this pack. Uh, this one is $2 and this one's $1.25. Slightly different in size, not that much, but um, these brushes I find are really durable. They're great for applying glues. They're great for doing watercolors. They're great with acrylics. They're great for all sorts of stuff. So I just like to have a whole bunch of brushes and having many brushes when I'm on the couch means I don't have to run and go clean them. Better yet is having a water brush, but they don't sell those at the dollar store. So, or at least my dollar stores don't. I also got a box of double-ended dual tip markers. Uh, what's fun about these, and this is why I picked up this set for my couch kit because they're double-ended so you get an extra fine point and a brush tip point so wow that's I thought that was a good deal it's a four dollars you get 12 of these dual tip markers and I have tried these before and they're they're, they're fine they're great so uh, and they come in a nice case which will do well in my basket here I picked up gel pens cuz who doesn't like to doodle with gel pens so uh, you get this pack, 18 for $4. I have noticed that some items I used to buy at Dollarama, I've already, I already have this. I paid less than that before. So uh, I know prices have gone up, not since COVID-19 prices have been going up, but now it's harder to get the best deals. But this is what I found for um, gel pens at Dollarama. I got some metallic markers as well, a silver and a gold. These were, weren't too bad at all. These were $1.25. Uh, 
So I like to use a little bit of gold, a little bit of silver here and there. So that was why I did that. One thing I wanted to have in my craft kit was a little cutting pad and a craft knife, which I got in this all-in-one set. This is now $4. I remember being at this being less. Uh, so you get the mat. I already have mats and knives, but again, to show you for the purpose of this video, I bought this one for my couch kit. So yeah, $4. So you get the knife, you get the mat. Can't really go wrong. Other things that I thought might be fun to use in my art journal would be stuff to make texture. And one of those things I thought would be like either gauze or mesh tape. And when I walked down the hardware stuff, I saw this roll of uh, fiber class screen repair tape. So it's actually tended to repair your screens. I grabbed the darker one. It comes in a dark, like almost like black, dark, you know, dark screen color and this white one. I picked up the dark one because I thought, well, if we need to patch a screen at home and our screens are dark color, uh, I'll have it. But I picked up this white one. So uh, I thought this would be fun to use in an art journal as texture and as a surface background. So uh, yeah, and this is $2.50. Two inches wide, 73 feet long. I picked up this little stapler. I thought this was a great size to put in my basket. I often staple stuff in my art journal or when I'm crafting and I like that I thought this was a neat little stapler. Not too big, looks sturdy. It's a swing line. Swing line staplers are really good. It says you can staple 15 layers of paper. Comes with a box of staples and this was $3. I would have liked gold, but they only had silver. So I got, uh, I would have liked a gold and a silver, So, but I picked up a box of these flakes. Uh, just to leave in my kit so separate from my other stuff and this is a dollar 25 this is great when you want to add just a little, little bit of something something now when doing art journaling sometimes it's fun to have a spot on your page to write things and index cards are a great way to get that spot and to write on also they're called, some are colorful and you could use the back of them if you just want to add a little color to something, you want to matte something. Uh, yeah, lots of things you can do. You can make tags out of these. So, and for a dollar twenty-five and a dollar for index cards that you can use as index cards, you can use as uh, cardstock or paper or to make other stuff uh, why not now another thing I like to do when I art journal is to stamp now that was a harder thing to find really wasn't much in terms of stamps at Dollarama but there was something I picked up these stamp with ink pads now these are not the best quality I know but I did think that a lot of the symbols so you have the handle and then you just add this part to it the little disc to it there's there's some fun designs on here there's stars there's swirlies a peace sign there's even a kitty so you get 30 30 stamps in here with two little very cheap ink pads and this is four dollars so you know i thought why not this might you could stamp on a page with that other stamps i know dollarama has had other stamps in the past i already have these stamps but i bought these again because that's all my store had my store has had uh wood mounted stamps uh i've seen alphabet stamps there they were out of those. The, the nice wooden stamps, the nice alphabet stamps were all sold out. So this is what I got, but I know it's possible to find them. They had the layered stamp sets. So uh, I already have this, but I really, really liked the design. And I thought for sure this is something I would use in an art journal. 
and I have these different colors of ink pads. So I just want to show you that it's possible to get stuff at the dollar store to get your crafting on to do your your first art journal if you want and this pretty layered stamp set is two dollars and by the way the instructions it is explained at the back how to do the three-step process to get the full image so there's that and it also there's also an owl one and a rose one now back to my paint, I showed you the little bottles that I found and um, I told you I didn't have the big craft bottles, well big craft little the bottles, but I found some brush pens. These I've called before, uh, but they are a lot of fun to use. They're all in one, it's less mess, you don't need a brush, you don't need a pot, you don't need water. This is even easier to work with when you're sitting on the couch or you're stuck somewhere. Uh, so for $2, you get a pack of four. These are the colors my store had left. So that's what I grabbed. So I think I'm more likely to put this in my couch kit than jars or bottles maybe even, but that's it. I just have a choice now. Uh, I picked up this package of sketching pencils. I love that it comes in a tin case. This is a good way to protect the pencils, keep them from breaking. And this is a good buy. This is uh, a pack of 12 sketching pencils. They vary in... Um, the leads vary from a 5H, which is like very, very super light, almost... You don't see it to a 6b which is a super like smudgy dark uh, lead so yeah you get a variety of sketching pencils in here nice tin two dollars that's that is a very good deal now you could just use this and the sketchbook that I showed you at the beginning and you'd be you, you could be busy for days with that uh, what else did I find? So because my store did not have paper pads, like I said, I thought of alternatives for paper backgrounds and such. One thing I saw was this pad of canvas. It's canvas, it's sheets of canvas. And I thought, well, these are a lot of fun to paint on, even draw on, and you could stick those in your art journal or just use them as is, of course. You can maybe sew these up and make a mini art journal, whatever. But they do have some canvas at Dollarama. So again, where's the, I'm taking art journal kit, couch kit, I want small, uh, I got that. Now, in lieu of some decorative scrapbooking papers, I checked out the gift bag aisle and I found some pretty gift bags. Now, I get a lot of paper on here. So these bags, like this bag, this is a big bag and it has glitter on one side, doesn't on the other. And this was $1.25. But I just thought this makes a pretty background, also makes some nice elements that can be cut out. It comes with ribbon handles that could be repurposed in the journal. Uh, I could, you know, attach a tag with this ribbon. I could make a little bow with it. Anything I want like that. I also got this paper bag. Uh, I thought there was some nice elements here as well, as well as some background paper elements to it. This can all be cut up and used as paper for my art journaling. That's what we're looking, that's what we're doing here. This one I thought was really pretty. Uh, I really like the, the handmade look of this. And it looks very doodly and I thought this is great to cut up, to put in the art journal, maybe cover your art journal with it. Just, yeah. And then this one, so this little, these little bags are two for a dollar twenty-five. So that's not too bad when you think about how much a sheet of scrapbook paper costs in the craft store. These come in a two pack 
and these are a dollar fifty they just they come in a two pack and I loved the bicycle and I just I want to cut this out and stick this on a page and it's got this beautiful satiny blue ribbon that can be repurposed as well so yeah and then finally uh, I picked up this bag because I thought the back it would make a nice background on a page and oh don't forget each of these little gift bags has a little card so that could be another little element to add to your art journal page okay so Dollarama has tons of stuff for uh, crafters they you check the office supplies they have envelopes uh, they have these fun, these are manila ones. Look at that. And they're, they're, they're long envelopes. And I said, well, this is fun. Now this, you can take the whole pack of this and fold it and make a journal just out of that. Uh, or you, and you can, or you can take the paper, tear it apart, stick it on a page, use the envelope in the journal. There's like, you just like, there's possibilities and this package of envelopes was a dollar 25 and they are craft envelopes so uh, yeah did I say manila before I meant craft so yeah got that another surface I really like to art journal on is manila and the manila paper um, is hard to come by right now <laughs> well, period so but at the dollar store they sell manila file folders now for those of you who want to make your own art journal this is great for making an art journal so is this you could take the paper out of the pad i showed you at the beginning the envelope some of this paper other papers and make your own unique art journal and it, nothing will beat that nobody will have the same art journal as you so this isn't bad you get eight file folders for a dollar fifty I bought it to use the not to use as file folders but to use the actual um, material so it's like a, a it could be a a cardstock, it'd be embellishments, you can stamp on it, cut out images. Yeah, there's lots of things to do with that. I picked up one piece of this plastic embroidery sheet because I thought this is fun. This makes a really cool stencil, makes really cool uh, designs for backgrounds on a journal page. Also, you can cut this out into shapes to make uh, shapes to stamp or trace on your art journal page so again material that is usable for so many things and a sheet like this is a dollar 25. So I got that. Dollarama has stickers. They have a ton of stickers. I didn't go gaga over stickers because I have so many stickers. It's it's insane but I thought I would pick up these to show you. Let me get this. Um, to show you the these sayings, these sentiments. They have these nice, you can get stickers that have sentiments. These are really fun to use in an art journal. Uh, $1.25, that's how much they are. And so there's sentiments that you can get in stickers. Also alphabet stickers. These are great for making words and phrases on your art journal page. And this, like, there's actually six sheets in here. I don't know how much these are. These are $2. So these are $2, but there's six big sheets of stickers, letter, alphabet stickers. And I love myself one decorative sticker. Uh, I thought these pretty, I love these butterflies. So I thought these would look fabulous in um, an art journal spread. Actually something that I'm working on currently in one of my art journals. I thought that would look really nice in that. Um, I also got these storage pouches. I thought this is great. You know what? This I could store images that I cut from magazines, uh, junk mail, 
calendars and now I segue into the other item I picked up at Dollarama. So you could store images that you cut out for your art journal. You could store pencils, other supplies, and just, you know, keep things orderly in the basket for the couch. So those are $1.25 for the six. So my Dollarama didn't have any magazines. Sometimes a Dollarama has a lot of magazines, and I was hoping to find some just to cut up. That was my whole point. I just wanted, I was hoping they would have maybe some sort of nature theme magazine, gardening magazine, cooking, uh, just for the images. But as luck would have it, nothing. <laughs> I also wanted, I was hoping to find a dictionary or a thesaurus or even a Bible for the texture of the paper to have paper that has words on it to use as background in my art journal. Uh, but they didn't have any paperback style like that. They had books, but not what I was looking for. So I was like, hmm. But then I saw they had this cool calendar. It's a 2020 calendar, but I got it just for the images. It's a 365 days in France. Uh, but I just thought I can cut up all these images. And this will be really cool uh, images, ephemera, to cut out for my art journal. And yeah, that's why I got this. Got this to cut it all up. So that's what I will be doing. Another thing I like to use as background um, on my art journal pages is tissue paper. I showed you the napkins at the beginning, but tissue paper is something I like to use. Sometimes I find some wonderful, amazing uh, prints. Today, there was very little left in terms of pretty prints that appealed to me. There were a lot of solid colors and there's nothing wrong with that, but I decided to grab the polka dots. Polka dots I find are very useful on pages. They make for interesting backgrounds. So got some tissue paper polka dots and darn it, I don't know what the price was on this either. Okay. One thing I use a lot of when I am doing any kind of crafting, and especially on the couch, because I don't want to get up, <laughs> are wipes. Now, I do already have uh, tons of wipes. I just bought a case of baby wipes at Costco. So those are the big packages. But when I'm sitting on the couch, I want something small and portable. So uh, they had these packs. You get 40, 40 wipes in here, travel pack, uh, clean and refresh in your skin, blah, blah, blah. So for $1.25, I got this nice slim pack of wipes. I use this great for cleaning up my sticky hands, dirty hands, great for cleaning my stamps, uh, cleaning the edge of my ruler after I've gone down with a marker. You know, just like, yeah, just for cleaning. Very practical. I picked up this glue pad so uh, when I'm working on something I can keep my something uh, clean and I can you know add glue to my piece of paper on this mat and not get glue all over myself my couch or my project in unintended space places so I just thought and it's pink so I just thought this would work really well. It is great to use with a heat, um, a glue gun <laughs> with hot stuff. I have these, uh, I have several of these already, but now I'll have one just for my couch kit. So $2. They do come in different colors, but I took the pink. Now, I love stenciling on journal pages. So it's pouring outside. Oh my God, it's just a downpour right now. It's good, we need the rain. I love stenciling on my art journals and I have these already and I do use them, but I wanted a set dedicated to my couch kit. So you remember my couch kit is also my, if I, my on the go crafting kit. 
Okay, so I got these sets of stencils. These are a lot of fun to use in your art journal. journal. I've been using some of these and I love them. And what a deal. You get four stencils in each pack for a dollar twenty-five. Really, out of everything I've bought, I think this is my, my best value purchase uh, in the whole bunch, really. So, uh, this is, yeah, that's, that's a good thing to find at Dollarama. Everything's good, but, you know, we're talking art journal couch kit right now. I also picked up the package of paper insects. They have these die cuts. They have this feather, these feathers. Really fun to add those to an art journal page. What else did I get? I accidentally bought two rulers. I meant to buy just one. <sighs> but anyway, that's okay. I need to put a ruler, a metal ruler in um, my shed actually. So, well, my shed or the work table in the garage. Yeah, I'll probably leave it in the work table on the work table in the garage because we needed a metal edge ruler the other day. So, uh, yeah, one of them will go in the garage and one of them will stay in my craft kit. This one is the Exacto brand, and I I really wanted just this one because it's slimmer. <laughs> and I also got the Studio brand one. I've got two metal rulers, inches and centimeters on them. So there we go. I wanted metal because when I cut with a, a cut a, a knife, uh, it's easy. It's better to use a metal ruler because often a plastic ruler it will slip and I will cut into the ruler and then my ruler won't have a straight edge anymore. So. And also for tearing paper, metal works better, I find. So, I got that. Now, a lot of the things I'm showing you are not necessary for art journals, but they're just items I picked up because I thought they are fun to use and they, you know, they're just fun to use. I got some rolls of lace. Lace is a fun element to add to art journal pages. It makes great texture. It's great on backgrounds. Uh, $1.25 each roll. And some mini craft punches. With mini craft punches, you can punch out anything you have, whether it's the index cards, whether it's pieces of the calendar, scrapbook paper, gift wrapping paper, uh, junk mail. You can make cute little embellishments to add to your art journal. And you get four of these, and they're $3 for a set. Another thing that I thought might be fun to have is sometimes I sew in my art journal. I will sew elements or I'll sew uh, an art journal together. So why not pick up a very inexpensive little sewing kit at Dollarama. You can get a kit like this for $2.50. And in here you've got needles, you've got threads, you've got even a little pair of thread snipping scissors. On the top, you have all sorts of little tools. You have measuring tape, um, um, the ring thing bolt to protect your your protect your finger. Some safety pins and some other tools for other crafts. But yeah, why not? Uh, lots of different colored threads. You can add threads to your art journal page as an added element, as a decorative element to make a bow or something. You could use thread as a part of the background. You could use the thread for texture. There are so many things you can use thread for in an art journal. So why not? So I've mentioned you can make your own art journal. One of the things I really like about Dollarama is they sell these great elastics, and this, I swear, is the same type of elastics I see in traveler's notebooks that I've purchased at uh, craft stores and other places. And yeah, this is the exact same. I picked up this one in this pretty blue just because I thought I had to pick one. 
And I picked this one because it was pretty. Uh, so here you get 65 feet of this elastic cording, which is great for making your own journals, travelers, notebooks, etc. And it's only $2, and they call this craft cord. And my Dollarama uh, usually has a lot of these. It's so many colors. So many colors. It's fun. <laughs> uh, I love colored pens to doodle with, uh, to do uh, zentangling, zen not zentangling, to do tangling, tangle doodles, to color. It's a... Uh, these are really fun to use, so I picked up a set for $2. You get seven multicolored pens. Yes, each pen writes a different, writes the ink that's on the, the cap there, or rubber thing there. And yeah, I, and I already have bought these and used these in the past, and they write fine. They're great. They're great to write over a painted surface, too. Other things that I really like to write with and make lines with are Sharpies. And this is the Sharpie pen. A regular Sharpie is fine too. A Sharpie pen, the difference is that if you use this directly on the paper that I showed you in the sketchbook that I picked up, it won't bleed through. That's the difference between this type of Sharpie and the regular Sharpie. And I just really like the points on these. So, got that. Another adhesive to use when uh, working in an art journal, which I think sometimes is better than a glue stick. It depends. Everything depends. It depends on what you're sticking to what. They do have glue tape. Uh, this stuff works really great uh, for paper to paper, and it's also very convenient. So, yeah. A dollar fifty for this. I like this using this better than double-sided scotch tape because it's a one-handed and the tape stays clean because it's inside the case. Just, just a preference. Okay, what else do I have? Well, of course you can't craft without scissors. So I picked up a pair of scissors. These ones are the non-stick. These are great if you're going to be cutting a lot of sticky things like tape, washi, double-sided tape. Great for that. They really are non-stick. Seven inches. I think these were $3. I don't know. The price is not on here, and I don't remember. Uh, these are new. They had these Paper Mate Ink Joy Rollerball pens in fine points. These are new to me. I thought these will be a lot of fun to try doodling with in my art journal from writing. Uh, so these I have yet to try. And oh, this is new also. The Simply Art uh, Craft Swivel Knife. This is a craft swivel knife. It swivels. So when you're cutting things that are circular or squiggly, uh, it it makes the cutting process easier. I've tried swivel knives before and I've noticed that. So, you know, I've got two, two new craft knives to add to my couch kit. And they will be staying in my couch kit. They will be dedicated to that kit. Um, also, I don't find that yeah, I can complete art journaling without some colored pencils. So there were there weren't a lot of choices this this week at my Dollarama. Um, I use I can find usually some really great colored pencils at Dollarama. Uh, so but they had these Crayola, and I chose these because you get a total of 24 colors in 12 pencils because they're dual ended. So I just like the fact that they were com more compact, and they do come with a sharpener. Now. The only thing I wasn't able to find was a decent eraser. <laughs> Dollar wrapper. They had erasers, but I was like, eh. I'm very fussy when it comes to erasers. So, uh, yeah, I would suggest also an eraser in uh, your your kit for your couch for art journaling. So that's that for the Dollar Rama haul I did specifically to build a kit, a couch kit for my art journaling.
How specific is that? I hope that you got some ideas, at least maybe one idea in there, uh, that you found useful or maybe you were just entertained by me. I, I hope I did something good. My whole point of doing this is to tell you that focus on, on positive things. Don't watch the news. <laughs> Try, you know, I know we're all uh, a bit concerned and worried about what's going on in the world right now and, and rightfully so. But there's nothing wrong, you know, with taking care of our mental health. And my favorite way to do that is by getting involved in a creative project. And I hope I, I can share my experiences with you so you will be willing to try that and just take your mind off of uh, the craziness that's going on in the world right now. So thank you so very much for watching. Uh, remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, uh, keep your distance, keep the two meters or six feet apart from people when you're out in public. It is not only for your safety, but for the safety of others. And um, shop only, shop if you need to, and um, you know, just protect yourself and protect others when you're doing so. So thank you so very much for watching. Uh, I hope you like this video and consider giving it a thumbs up or two. <laughs> and uh, until next time, stay crafty. Bye.